This video will guide you how to install PFBlocker NG on your PFSense firewall. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Okay, so I have logged in to my PFSense firewall. This is a fairly factory reset PFSense. Uh, just install it and uh, if you want to follow along the installation press the top right banner and you will have a complete video on how to install your pfsense pf blocker ng is a very popular ad block for pfsense and it will block ads in your complete network if you're using the pfsense as your dns even on yeah, phones and tablets etc and what we will need to do is actually install the third party package and what we need to do is go and hit up system and then package manager right here there are no packages currently installed but if we click available packages this list should populate and here we can see there are quite a lot of different packages to choose from and if we scroll down we can see p F blocker ng and pf blocker ng devel and we are going to go with the developer branch which is actually the one that is uh, currently active and here we just click install and confirm and now it will update some system packages and actually install it right away we can see that it's actually already installed. I didn't fast forward at all. So this is pretty cool. We are now actually ready to go into the wizard. So now if we go to the firewall, we can here actually see that we have a new option called PF blocker ng. And it says that it will start a wizard. It also has some links to, yeah. It's Reddit, Git and all of that. But if we press next, it's going to take us through the wizard. And here it says caution before proceeding. It will configure a default setup of this PF blocker NG. And it will make some uh, yeah, DNS BL, which is DNS blacklists. So for example, if you're going to CNN.com, it will actually take the DNS request for ads.cnn.com and just dump it into uh, yeah fake IP so it you won't have the uh, ads shown on your system we will press press next here we can see select the inbound firewall interface so the van in my case uh, of course is the inbound and the LAN is the outbound so if I hold control here I can select to different interfaces before we actually proceed we can just make sure that I actually get ads so for example if we go to yeah, speed test here we can see that uh, yeah <laughs> there's a lot of ads all over the screen popping up here so uh, yeah definitely a lot of ads on the speed test site even for some friends here okay um but back to the wizard and uh yeah inbound is going to be the van outbound is going to be the lands so i will press next and here we can see okay it's list a uh, kind of weird ip here and this is the uh, vip the virtual ip it will actually use to make a small web server where it will forward the traffic that is going to be blocked so when you're, for example, if we are going to block, yeah, we can block example.com, you will go to a page and it will sell, says, okay, this page is blocked by the administrator. So we'll actually get kind of a landing page that you will have for your users or for your home lab or whatever you're setting up. Um, if this, these ports and this IP is not in conflict for you, you can just press uh, next here. And that is actually it. So that was step 404. Uh, nothing will happen if you press finish here, but you can press here to exit the wizard. 
Uh, there's quite a lot of settings that you can do for the PF blocker. And uh, yeah, here we can, for example, see how often it will update its lists. And one thing is if you change something, you have to do a manual update. So in that case, you will have to go to update and then run here to actually trigger the settings updates for the PF blocker. Uh, but okay, let's check now if we go to the speed test and do a refresh. And now we can see, okay, we still got some ads. But if we do an update here, let's see what happens. All right, so we are updating. And uh, shouldn't take too long, usually takes maybe 10 seconds or so. And we can see the update process ended. Okay, let's see again. If we do a refresh, we still got some ads. What we can do now is actually do a DNS clear on the browser itself because if we, in Firefox at least, go to about networking DNS and we do clear DNS cache over here, you can see it's right there. And then we can hit uh, refresh top right here. So clear, refresh. It's now refreshed. Let's try again. So there are quite some caches in, could be both in the browser and in the OS. And for this, I think we actually need to do a, a quick reboot of the operating system. So I will just reboot it. It doesn't take too long as it's a virtual machine. All right, so we are logging in again. Once again, let's see if the speed test is actually ad free now. And yeah, there we go. So we actually just needed to clear the uh, OS cache. So this is a much more pleasant experience. You can see that all the ads are gone, all the, yeah, the friends ads and uh, the other ads on the other side. And you can see the site is still working. There's no problem actually doing a, a speed test. So yeah, and this is kind of handy because in this case, you, don't, you do not need to do any for example, browser extensions on if you have multiple PCs, multiple lab equipment, and even it can be sometimes tricky on your phone to get uh, uh, ad free. I want to show you one thing more, and that is how to do custom DNS blacklist. And it can be a bit tricky to find it, so what you actually need to do is go to PF blocker here, DNS blacklist, then you will need to hit DNS BL groups. And here we can see the blacklist that is actually being used. So now we are only using ads basic, and this is a good start, but you can add more. But how to actually do the custom blacklist is that you go to the edit sign, which is uh, right over here. So you click this uh, pen here. And then you scroll down until you see DNS BL custom list. Hit the plus sign and here you can add some domains. So for example, I can add example.com and hit save. I think they actually mention that we need to do an update for it to um, be applied. We can see here if we mark here we can see changes are applied via cron or force update reload only. So we actually need to make an update to this to uh, new settings. So we will do an update here. Oh, it actually failed because well, there, actually, there was an active running task. 
So if we press view here, we can see 19, 25. Okay, update process ended. So I think it actually got updated now because the clock is 1926. So all should be good. And once again, let's clear the cache. I'm not sure I actually went to example.com. We can try. Just like this. And here it works. So I will close this window. I will do an about networking DNS. I will clear the cache, hit refresh, and I will also reboot the system once again. So I know both the OS cache and the browser cache is uh, actually cleared 100%. Okay, let's try to go to example.com and see what happens and we actually get the warning if we press advanced and accept the risk we can see that this website example.com has been blocked by the network administrator that is actually working as intended the pf blocker ng is blocking the example.com I can show you that other web pages like Reddit is working fine. So it's only example.com and we can see that we get sent to this uh, landing page instead. That was it. Hope you liked it. Leave a comment and um, yeah, subscribe for more content like this. See you guys. Bye bye.